What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another uh, sunglass review here on the channel. So today we have a pair of Costa Salt Break 400 Gs. Uh, this is the very first pair of Costas that I ever bought and I really didn't know the difference uh, between the 580p and the 400g lenses, but I do want to say uh, I do prefer the 580p and every pair I bought after this has been the 580p. Now I kind of got stuck on these a little bit. I do not recommend buying sunglasses at Universal Studios inside Universal Studios. They're a little expensive. But without further ado, let's take a look at these glasses. Okay, so here we have the Costa Salt Break 400G sunglasses. And these are some of the heaviest sunglasses uh, that I have reviewed so far at one and a half ounces. Um, I do wanna say when you put these on and you put on like my fantails with the 580P lenses, you can really tell a difference. Uh, that half ounce is actually noticeable to me with these glass lenses inside it. And that is the difference. If you see like a 400G or like a 580G or a 580P or whatever. The G stands for glass and the P stands for plastic. Um, I do prefer plastic lenses in uh, my Costa sunglasses. Uh, I don't know, I've never really used a pair of the 580Gs, uh, so I can't really compare, but the 400Gs to the 580P, world of difference as far as clarity goes whenever I look up. Now these are still very clear sunglasses and unless you have them right side by side, you are going to be very happy with a 400G lens. Um, I just prefer the plastic for the weight savings in my opinion. And like I said, the 580 is a little bit clearer lens and they are a little bit better lens. They will clear a lot of that glare that maybe this doesn't catch quite as bit of. Now these do have a 400G polarized glass lens uh, with the blue tint. The blue tint actually gives a little bit of a yellow hue on stuff. You wouldn't think it would be that way, but it actually is. It's actually more of a yellow tint than it is a blue tint or just a regular gray tint like normal sunglasses have. Uh, like I said, these are a little bit heavier um, and I just don't like these as well as I do the fantails. They don't fit my head as well. Um, they do poke me a little bit behind the ear. Uh, they do have a nice sweep down here, uh, but I don't know if they're not as big. They feel like they're a little bit smaller on my face and I do get a little bit more sunlight in the corners of these glasses and then I do the fantails. Now the salt breaks are still great sunglasses. I do consider these a sport oriented sunglasses. So if you're a fisherman, a ball player or something like that, these will still work great for you, but I just think the fantail is just that much better because it does block a little bit more sunlight and glare from coming in the side. Now you can see here that these are the blacked out version, whereas my fantails had a silver C on the side. You can get these with the silver or the black, just like you can the fantails, either way you want to do it. Um, I just wind up getting both both kinds. Uh, it's, it's really personal preference there. There's really not a difference. I do kind of like the blacked out version a little bit better. Um, now, the MSRP on these are about $259. So these sunglasses are pretty expensive, but I found a pair of the 580Gs and that was for the 580Gs. I couldn't find the 400Gs. So the 580Gs were $259 uh, manufacturer says to retail. I'm not sure if they still make even a 400G, but I couldn't find it online to get a price on that. But the 580G on Amazon was about $153. Now I don't know why you would prefer glass over plastic because like I said the glass is actually heavier and uh, I don't notice these pulling down a lot but I can notice these kind of pulling down in the front because that glass does throw the weight forward th towards the bridge of your nose so that's something you'll have to contend with as you start sweating uh, you know these are great sunglasses I, I do you know recommend these and uh, like I said before go to a local sunglass dealer and try these on whereas like 
you know, your aviator styles and stuff like that, uh, you can get more adjustment. These don't have a ton of adjustment, no nose bridge or anything gonna be adjusting or anything like that. So if you go somewhere to try these on, uh, a lot of times they'll be a, you know, higher price at like a sunglass hut or something like that. Whereas you can go online to a reputable dealer. And I do say reputable because you don't want to buy, pay a lot of money and get a fake pair of these. And I'm sure there's people that fake these out there. Uh, so go online to a reputable dealer and I'm sure you can buy them cheaper. Now, if you was buying, like I said, an aviator or something, go check them out and buy them at a actual sunglass hut or something worth you get lifetime adjustment. But with these, there's really no adjustment to do. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.